Look, I'm not going to say a lot of people, but I'm going to say some people. Some people have been anticipating and actually waiting to get into One Piece, not One Piece, where fucking Fairy Tale Red. And you know, I was too. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was people. I seen Fairy Tale CC. I was like, bro, I've been, I've been thinking about Fairy Tale CC for a long time, hyping it up, just thinking about what could, what it could have been, what it should have been. And then I got in this game, and like, and <sighs> I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. Currently, as I'm making the video, there's updates coming to the game still that's making the game, you know, a lot, a lot better. All right. But I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. My first initial reaction from playing this game, this was the worst shit I've played in 2022. Now, most of y'all know me, you know. I review games, I play games, and most of, most importantly, from time to time, time, I rant. But when I rant, as y'all know, I, I just don't rant, you know, like, just randomly rant. I, I, I just don't get up and say, Oh my god, man! Fuck this game because fuck this game. You know, you, you know. I actually hold. Oh, I have to I have to mute this fairy tale sound, but I actually, you know, give you know somewhat valid reasons as to where my frustration is coming from to try and help the devs. But oh my god, bro! First off, right, this is a fairy tale game, but only one person in the fucking game has magic, and the reason for this thing what I've been hearing lately is that Street Just decided to start the game in the Zerf era of fairy tale. Do you know why Zerf has like fucking do you, do you know why they only show Zerf in fucking flashbacks of that era? Because the era fucking sucks and nobody gives a fuck if you can't the niggas not use the niggas bro fairy tale was built upon using magic. Who the fuck wants to watch people not use magic? Why would I play and not use magic? Now keep in mind, right, you have mana, you know, basic, basic mana shit. I'm only assuming I can show all this because, you know, that's why I already recorded a video and played the actual game. So I'm just assuming I can show this, right? But it's, it's wild to me how they actually thought, they actually got up and sat there and was like, yeah, we gonna let niggas not use mana. And, and keep in mind for a second, I, I've been hearing people, the first person that got fucking magic, I've been hearing that. That nigga's like 40, 50 hours in and not has yet to cast a single fireball except for, except for this one nigga who, who just got to today, right? But 50, honestly, 30 hours into a fairy tale game and you're not using magic is fucking ridiculous. That's fucking crazy. And and, and, and honestly, and honestly, that's why it, it's like 200 something players in the group and like I, I never see more than 30 niggas online at one time because, bro, magic is so. It, it, it's getting better, right? But the initial release magic was so hard to get for so fucking long, it don't make any sense. And it's the main thing, right? This fucking this was this is what confuses the fuck out of me. This is one thing I never understand. If you play BU and play this game, you can make the comparison. Okay, this game has some has some heavy BU inspiration, right? And that sometimes people will ask Street Jazz, dang bruh. They'll be like, they'll be like, oh man, this shit's so hard and bring up BU. And the street will tell them you wouldn't last in BU if you think this is hard. One thing I don't understand, right? Street made this game after playing BU, so he's experienced the bullshit in BU. Why the fuck? See, you see, it's a thing. Snake, right? In Snake's process of BU, the game has gotten easier over time. You know, that's how fucking evolution works. You don't go backwards, you go forward. You making a game after BU, you see what BU did to people and how fucking annoying it was. Why the fuck would you make the game in the worst possible state? Like, 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 like. like I don't understand what what went through your mind and was like, yeah. You see, you see, what he told me personally, he said he told the testers that over time it'll get easier. Why the fuck would you make it hard if that was one of the main problems of BU? It wasn't hard, it was damn near impossible, fucking annoying. That's like saying, bro, I don't understand it. That's like saying, yeah, I'm about to make a gun from scratch, but instead of you making a modern age gun, I I'm gonna make a fucking gun from like 200 years ago with a 50% chance of blowing up in my face when I shoot it. Why the fuck would you do that? Why would you why, why would you make the game in the worst state? I I, I, I can't find the words to to mentally comprehend why the fuck was that his train of thought? Like like I, I I'm sitting here actually trying I'm trying to think of a reason, bro. I, I'm trying my hardest to think of a reason as to why somebody who went through BU went through BU right 
no snake has changed it because him his snake himself has realized okay may, maybe this progressing method is kind of bullshit and, and it's not fun it's not fun to wait so long to actually play the game the snake realized that and changed it so why would you start your game with the intention of making it better along the lines instead of just starting it out with a better fucking game i i, I don't understand that I, I i can never understand that thought see some niggas just don't use their brains like, like, uh, like I'm trying to understand the thought process, like, like, oh my god, bruh, and then on top of that, on top of you not being able to use magic for fucking like 40, 50 hours at max, bruh, the combat, the comp, it's nothing to write home about, bro. like, honestly, CC games, the main thing about CC games is that the game is extremely flushed out, and it's fun, which is why it's CC, because everybody can't get in, you put so much time into it, you're not gonna make it a, a public game, because you're scared of shaking and stolen, right? Fairy Tale vs. CC game. You compare it to like Mighty, No2, BU, NI2. All of these games I've listed so far blows this game's combat out of the water. Even NI2 and Mighty, who have a 5 a combat system, I don't give a, I don't give a fuck about the animations. Okay, I don't care how this shit look. I, I, I don't care how this shit look at all. When you actually fight, bro, it's how do I say this? It's not the most fluid thing, but the main thing about the combat system is that until you get magic, you know, actual magic and not mana, you're sitting here throwing M1s. Unlike the rest of these games, right? There is no skill tree. There is no skill tree. For the third time, in case you didn't hear me, there is no skill tree. You literally sit here for 50 hours plus m one and if you get a weapon, you just m one with a fucking cosmetic. Don't get me wrong. You got, you got, you got shit the game. You know, you got things like armors, artifacts, you know, it's it, it like this, but you still don't change the fact that you're just sitting here pressing your mouse button. Especially when expeditions in the game, right? You go on expedition, like you pretty much TP to a map and, and you run like you find the map gives you like missions and shit. You go on the missions. Keep in mind, I've done that before and I, I dead ass. I, I I kid you not. And I, I've seen people do this and people told, me, people told me to do this too. They literally just sit there and click on the NPCs. Like, you, you don't have to parry the NPCs, okay? You, you don't have to. You sit there and just fucking click. You, you just you, you just do this. It's been times. I fought, bro, me and Fino, we went we went to a, we went to a fucking um, expedition. I, I took a kill of the Major's quest by mistake. And, like, it was, like, ten niggas surrounding us. I, I dead ass sat there. They didn't press F once. I sat there and did this. And killed all of them before I, before I died. Like, Especially since, okay, getting health packs is a good thing, right? There's nothing wrong with that system. Even even, even the system you're seeing right now, like, you start sprinting and then, like, you press Q to, you know, like, dash and go on, like, a hyper speed run. That's a good-ass system. So, this just shows me that expedition system was a cool system besides the fact of it being, like, you know, fucking hours long and shit. But, you know, this shows me that they had the, you know, the, the potential is there for the game and that they have good ideas. But, but for some reason... You, you just decide to, to just fuck progression in the ass, but like you, you, you just decide to make progressing the most unfun way possible, which is confusing to me. Which is conf confusing to me because you played BU, and you seen the nigga change it because BU was unfun, and you still decide to start from the unfun point. But just telling niggas, yeah, well, it's, it's, it's gonna get better over time. Why? Why is it getting better over time if the person you're basing this off of has already made his game better? Like, I'm so lost. Like, I'm, 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 I'm actually lost, bro. Aside from that, bro, that's pretty much, pretty much the main thing. Honestly, I don't even know how many skills magic gives you, but to be really honest, I, I don't think magic gives you enough skills to make, to make the combat, you know, actually, actually, actually more fun. At, 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 at least me, at least, right? You know, when I'm playing a CC game, I have flushed out skill trees. I can go whatever the fuck I want, bro. Mighty, NI2, BU. No two, a lot of the CC games I play in this fairy tale game, you're throwing M ones to 50 hours, and then, and then, you get a magic, which well, what I heard is like one to three moves, one to three moves, with just M ones gets, I ain't gonna lie, it would get boring. That is, it's going, at least for me at least, at least for me at least, if I've been M one for 50 some hours, and then I see okay, I have three new moves. Bro, it's not gonna be long before I say, like, like, yo, I'm still basically just m wanting. Like, I'm not. Nothing has changed besides three tools in my toolbars that I can click maybe every third, maybe every like 30, 40 so seconds. You know, and on top of that, if you get hit while casting, the damn thing breaks and all the NPCs rush you 
So you know, it's also one ABC. It's all gonna, gonna be one ABC trying to swing at you. So you're probably not getting like you know casting in mid fight. So pretty much what you're doing, you're just M one ing. You're still going to be M one ing, which is honestly, it's it's not it's it's, it's not a good game design, bro. I see what you want to do with the combat system, but man, this shit, this this this, this shit right here was horrible. And, and it's even crazy because all the friends I wanted, all the friends I had intentions to start playing with, all them niggas quit already. Like every one of them, every one of those niggas stopped playing the game already. And I'm just sitting here like, damn. Like they stopped playing the game before I actually, you know, I got in like a couple days ago. They got in the day before me, and they all like, man, that's man, I'm not playing that shit. Don't no I'm thinking to myself like, damn, what the fuck happened? I get in myself, and I'm, I'm like, sheesh. Another thing, nothing for some reason. This nigga. Or whoever the fuck made expeditions, they put you on a big ass map, right? For some reason, you do not have squad markers, so you cannot tell where your teammate is. I'm talking so low because it's it's, it's astonishing how squad markers are in the game. Considering one of the devs has worked on Naruto Mighty, you know what the fuck a squad marker is. You know the importance of a squad marker. Yet it wasn't in the game. Now, I I think he was added recently. Hold up, hold up. Look at the dev log. Look at the dev log real quick. Hold up, hold up. I I, I think it's some. I think it's some of my squad markers recently. What is it? What is it? It says added icons to battlefield to see who's in what guild. I would assume that puts the icon above their head, but I, I don't know how far that icon reaches, right? So it, it may be a squad marker, it may not be a squad marker. But considering for the past three expeditions I've been on, I bro, if my teammate got if my teammate died or my teammate like if we lost each other, we wasn't finding each other, bro. Like a nigga had to run all I had to run in a circle all the way back to the main village, you know the main village of that area, and then didn't say okay, this will we at, come back to us, you know, on top of that, bro. On top of expeditions lasting forever, you know, hours, hours or something, you can die and then just get fucked. Like, like a play, basically, PVE, you can respawn on expeditions, right? But if a player joins you, which is PVE, or it's PvP, it's like a raid type shit, right? If you get killed by another player on expedition, it's over. You just get sent back to the thing, and you lose, like, half your shit, and you, you just get time, just get, you get time, just get clapped, you get fucked, GG. Got next, you run another run the expedition for another hour or some change. For a nigga to come in anytime and just boom you. Which is crazy to me. Crazy indeed to me. Like, I understand missions. Expedition is a cool system. But the, the hour and some change in expedition time is insane. But that's been dropped down though, I think. That has that has been dropped down. I don't know how long I don't know how long it is now. They were saying like two or three missions now per expedition, so I don't know the time on it now, right? I ain't gonna like keep in mind. I'm used to I'm used to games that's like I don't know five missions at most. I mean five five minute missions at most type of shit in some CC games, right? Because honestly, being being doing one thing for a long time isn't fun, bro. Like it, it gets it gets old, it gets boring. That's just it's just how it is, bro. What else about this game? Like I'm, I'm sitting thinking that the main thing about it was just was just magic wasn't a magic wasn't it pretty much didn't exist in this game, bro. Well, the first nigga just got it, which in a fairy tale, which in a fairy tale game, that was not that was not one biggest flaw, bro. In a fairy tale game, you made the you made the fucking creative decision to withhold niggas from magic for 50 plus fucking hours. I don't give a fuck if God was testing. I, I don't give a fuck what testing you had to do. No way you no way you make a fairy tale game and you dead ass say to yourself, these niggas is 40 hours in and they still haven't shot a single fireball, they haven't casted a single spell, and I'm perfectly okay with that. That that to me is mind breaking. Like, like like that's that that's some that's some different shit, bro. Like this who, whoever sat there and agreed on that change or on that fucking system is dangerous. That's a dangerous human being because they don't give a fuck about anything, bro. Like, 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 they they can't think. Even right now, I just got tagged with a. I just got tagged with a um, what a watchman call it. So yeah, they're making updates right now as we speak to the game. And but, but honestly, for me, bro, it's it's too late, bro. Like, well, it is for me at least, and probably for a lot of people at this point. Unless you give me magic right fucking now, I'm I'm probably never I'm probably never gonna play the game again. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, 
to, to people that come in f from the next people that come in you know on, on next waves and shit maybe y'all may y'all may you know experience magic earlier and faster you may actually have fun with the game bro but nah nah after first before you begin to the game have most of the niggas tell me hey bro 40 plus hours no magic kind of kind of plays a toll on you and then you know me me myself plan for probably like oh keep in mind right to get mana to actually you know start getting to, to get the base mana you have to and hear me out to get base mana you have to press m and meditate for three consecutive hours i sat in game the game i joined the game probably like i was in the vc with, with the homies i joined the game probably at like 4 a.m from 4 a.m to like 5 or something i was playing a phone game around like five six this con came to me he was like let's play smash i played smash with con for another like hour i just sat there doing nothing I had to sit in game for three hours before I can. I sit in game and do nothing, by the way. N not just sit in game for three hours. Sit in game and do nothing for the very basis of the game. I don't understand who comes up with shit like this, bro. And people might say, oh, yeah. No. People, and people always tell me that Street compares it to BU. And BU, when you sit there for your Sheikah or, or your spiritual world, you don't have to sit there. Like, like, like. You get you can get your spiritual world from actually just playing the game and shit too. And Sheikah from just playing the game and shit too. Like you know you have you have to actually meditate to get get your Sheikah. But when you, when you meditate, you know you actually go into your world and do something. You you're not just you're not just sitting there looking at your screen. You're actually moving around in your spiritual world doing something. You know so that that's what I can never. If people keep telling me he compares it to be you, he tells me he didn't. But most people niggas tell me he compares it to be you. But I'm sitting here thinking. I, I don't understand how the fuck you compare anything in this game to be you. Like, it's, 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 it's honestly mind-boggling. I was like, I ain't even trying to dick EBU. I'm not trying to dick EBU at all. But when I see him play this, nigga, don't use BU as an excuse as to why you let this bullshit in your game. I'm, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> This game, if, 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 if I had to give this game a quick, you know, rundown for anybody that want to watch the video, this, this the too long didn't read. Imagine a Naruto game, right? Imagine a Naruto game, but you don't get a jutsu until like 50 hours in. That's, that's this game. Or, or, or a Bleach game, but you can't get a sword until like 30 hours in. That's this game. That's this game. That is that is the basis of the experience I had in this game. Just broke down in, in other animes. It's, it's like, yeah, yeah, Naruto, but you couldn't get your first rank up for like 50 hours. You gotta, you gotta run around in the M1 shit. I don't even I don't know what to say at this point, bro. Because the game is the game's getting updated. It's getting better, but it 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 it, it amazes me. It it mentally amaze, bro. Like I, I am I am actually stunned and, and amazed. Like like I'm amazed how how you can get up and say, yeah, I seen BU with shit in the beginning. I seen the ground was horrible in the beginning and wasn't fun. I seen Snake World change the ground because it was horrible and wasn't fun. But I'ma still make my game start at that horrible point. Like, like the create bro some people just make creative decisions and me as a player i sit there i just think to myself bro how how could you hey it do me a favor in the comments down below i want some somebody somebody please try to explain to me why the fuck street just made like not even street just just explain to me why the devs came together and let that shit slide like, like, like somebody please explain like kick kick out I, I need answers, bro. If you're just if, if you're watching this, get, please explain to me the, the the thought process of this. Please, 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 please. Some, somebody, somebody, explain to me why he willingly took he he willingly made his game into an unfun state just to tell niggas it get better over time. When you've already sat through the unfun state and the person before changed the unfun state because they realized it wasn't fun. So you also know it wasn't fun, but you still willingly put us in the unfun state. Can somebody please explain that to me? Anybody in the comments, bro, like, I'm done, but video, bro, video is over, bro. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm farmed, I'm, I'm, I'm farmed. And, and like, and honestly, I'm probably never going to touch the game again until until I see an update that says everybody has magic. Um, until then, I, 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 I probably won't, won't ever join the game again. It's not even me saying the game is bad. It was like I said, the game. If I had to rate the game, bro, the game is the game is like a five. Bro. It's it's perfect. It's perfectly mid. Like it's it's not bad. It has some it has some good things in it. 
all right the game has some good concepts it's a it's a somewhat okay quality game but man the, the bad concepts the, the bad parts of the game just drag it down so fucking much bro because you take fairy tale out of fairy tale nigga i'm pretty much playing cc rogue lineage like this is what i feel like i, I feel like i i feel like i'm playing fucking rogue this is this is base this is base monk combat rogue and everybody got manifest and fucking man of shield this this, this, this is what i'm playing is this I, I'm I'm not playing fairy tale. This is this this is not a fairy this is not a fairy tale game. If anybody tells you fairy tale is a fairy tale game, they're a fucking liar.